how do you think education is actually going to change? I, I love that. So we're working on a, on a global literacy X prize. Mm -hmm. um, I think it would be as useful in the United States as it would be outside. Today we depend on schools and teachers, which are really important. Okay, don't mean to say anything about that, but we don't have enough great teachers. We don't have enough schools, especially in the developing world. And so what we're working on right now is imagine a piece of software that you could use on your, on your smartphone or your tablet that understood, a, could, you could speak to it, it could speak to a child that doesn't know how to read. And imagine that that software knew your favorite color, your favorite sports star, musicians, uh, everything, it, it knew everything about you, and it could, it could engage you in such a fun way that you loved, it was, it was intoxicating conversation. It always knew, like if you wanted to learn about uh, trigonometry or angles and you loved hockey, it would tell you, okay, the puck's coming at this angle, and you know, and it would, it would engage you in a way. So we're looking to create a piece of software that would gamify and make, make uh, uh, learning intoxicating. Right, and that it would be free to any kid anywhere on the planet. And what we also want to do is want to define modern day literacy as reading and coding, mm. not just reading. It's how do you program a computer? How do you code? Because that would give kids a way of earning a living around the world. So that's part of it, right? It's uh, what, what Sal Khan has done with Khan Academy. It's flipping the model. It's instead of having one teacher teach a you know, classroom of 60 kids, 30 of which are bored, 30 of which are lost. It's about giving every kid a personalized education. What's the new goal? What is a problem we want to solve? Can we set a very clear goal and then inspire teams to go and attack it and solve it? It's very true, Farrell, when I say that you know, the day before something is truly a breakthrough, it's a crazy idea, mm -hmm. right? If it wasn't a crazy idea, it wouldn't be a breakthrough. Artificial intelligence, robotics, uh, sure. 3D printing, synthetic biology, and all these technologies are enabling us to do epic things in the world. Because we can strip this planet and we can mine everything out of it, or we can realize that the Earth is a crumb in a supermarket filled with resources.